I'm playing Tesla. He's a general Tesla. He gave himself that. I'm sure he gave himself general, you know, not lieutenant. But, and, and it's kind of, what I love about it, it's a bit of a Richard III, n not really psychopath, like a, but a guy who's so frustrated because of his lack of power compared to Clue. You know what I mean? That, that, and also, if he's ever around Clue, he has to, he has to knuckle under, which is not in his nature at all. I mean, that kind of character. He's, he's so full of detail. In other words, if, if he sees his own defects in another character, like Paige or, or anybody else, he'll really lash out because he doesn't want to really admit what a turkey he is. You know what I mean? That's, and I, and I like it. I mean, because. Because as an actor, it's fun to, uh, you know, to admit defects or, or to have an excuse. And, um, it's pretty cool. It gives you something to do. It really does. Really. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but if you, if you also combine that with technology, the technology aspect of this is more frightening than any of the characters that are in it. Because is it, is it something that's inside this little iPod recorder? Mm -hmm. Our whole universe, or, or you know, derez. What happens to you when you get derez? Do you end up in this one? It just <laughs> makes a hop. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and, and it's also, is the is the whole story? This is what I ask myself as an actor: Is the whole story a scenario that's been preordained? And I'm self-aware, but I have to still do it. 